I got just a, a quick question. Uh, I, I feel like I feel like you're. Whose mic is that? Go ahead, bro. You. Really doesn't have nothing to go to, but like you even play with Allen Iverson too, so you can really speak on that. And we know what he can do; he can create a shot. Uh, but as a big, would you choose any of those great players that create shots over? LeBron? What do you mean? Because you know what LeBron would do for you? I mean, really. Uh, what do you mean choose a big over LeBron? Well, like like you being the big, would you choose any of those great players over LeBron? Because you know he's going to give you the ball in spots and then you're going to be able to work. That That's well, the that's the flip side of it. You know what I mean? A pick and roll. He's going to give you the ball. He's going to get you shots. I mean, he got Tristan Thompson paid. He was better offensively than him. Oh yeah, LeBron is a great player. Like he's a all. So, so, so you, what I'm saying is, you would choose LeBron over them other great players that create their own shot, correct? As a uh, as a basketball no, player, not, not in that situation. In that situation where you have uh, three to four seconds where that great player has to get a shot off, I would choose uh, MJ or Kobe in that situation because you got to make a split second it, decision and you got to have a guy that's going to get to a spot and be able to pull up. Even even as a even as an NBA player, you would choose those players over LeBron. Yeah, because Le, LeBron uh, LeBron has never had that mid range game. He he's a he's he's I I never seen a guy that can last this long and be able to be that great in transition. LeBron, I've I've read the scouting reports. You got to think about it. Every team I played on, they give you a scouting report on every player. And these scouts and these coaches are not lying about LeBron. The, the funny right. thing is, what they say in the media is not what they say in the scouting report. The scouting report mm. says, keep him out of transition. He's a locomotive when he gets going. Try to get in front of him early and, and corral him because you can't, When he once he gets going, he's hell to deal with. But they always right. say, get him in a half court set, get him going left and try to funnel them to another player. And that's exactly what they did. That's that's true. But, like, I, I was thinking, like, what he's done, like, I mean, he usually passes. He gets mm -hmm. criticized when he does pass. But what you're saying is why he passes. He doesn't have anything. If he can't get a direct line drive to the hoop, he has to pass. Right. You know what I mean? If, so, like, what I'm saying is, as a big, he's going to set you up with everything. That's why I feel like if I was if I was like a, a big, I would want to go LeBron over Jordan and LeBron on the but flip that, side of like what everybody's saying, because you're going to be able to eat. Yeah, that that's true throughout the 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 flow of the game. But in that last second uh, moments, the politics of the game and the reason why they pay him that type of money is he's supposed to take that and make that shot. That's the reason why they pay him what they pay him. He's there. I mean, to fill up, he's there to fill up the seats. And he's there to take those last second shots and make those last second decisions. Hundred, hundred percent. I, I was thinking, oh yeah, I was thinking more overall of the basketball. If you'd rather, because I remember you was talking about it before. When oh, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. was either. No, I'm, I'm agreeing I, I, with that. I'm agreeing oh. with that. Overall, if if it was just, I would I would love to play with a younger LeBron with the way he passed the ball and the way with his size. Like you said, he got Tristan paid millions of dollars with a limited. Uh, Skill set. Well, I, I won't say limited skill set because when he was younger, he was posting up. But you know, he definitely got to me max money because of LeBron. Right. I I, I had a funny thing to also uh, say as well. <laughs> I remember you showing you the block the blocks when you played for Detroit against LeBron, dude. If I was you, I'd have posted that shit so fast. Nah. Three possessions in a row when you blocked the shot. Yeah, but it, was, it was a bunch of possessions. I had to get the hell out of the way because he was in the tomahawk dunk it too. So, <laughs> no, you, you, sh you, you should have broke the clip. You should have broke the clip up and posted it and pissed yeah. everybody off. Oh <laughs> man, you, you trying to get the LeBron fans to run up on me, man? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't even say nothing bad about LeBron, and they mad as hell. So imagine if I start antagonizing. <laughs> Kwame, you got to do it. And just send it to Shannon Sharp. <laughs> That's what you got to do. I mean, he already hated. Forget it. You post the clip, break it up. You you had, what, three blocks on him in Detroit. I remember that when he played for the Cavs. 
And uh, you should just break that up and make it silly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you could have started some shit. Okay. <laughs> well, you showed the clip before. Ain't nobody said nothing, though. <laughs> It was uh, just an idea. I thought it would have been hilarious. No, it's gonna it's gonna definitely be hilarious to me and you, but it's gonna be a lot of Braun fans that they ain't gonna like that shit, boy. These people crazy. Oh my god, oh, yeah, did you yeah. do it and then you have Dan well, D put his little touch on it with the little silly videos? Oh man. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna make it worse. They're gonna be chasing me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> just stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. All right, so let's see. Uh, Brown boys, we the brown boys. The brown boys, we the brown boys.